So in this video, we're just going to do a, a you know quick review of how we open up uh, this you know this different kind of um, data file. So this is a data file with a dictionary. With this dictionary is basically telling Stata how to interpret this like text file with a bunch of information in it. So this is the format of the data set that you have for your assignment. So let's talk about how to open that into Stata. So we click on File. We want to import it into Stata. If we had a .dta file, we could just click Open. But we don't. We have this other kind of file. So here are different options. If you wanted to have a CSV or an Excel file, etc., etc. So if you had those, that's how you would import them. Here we have a text data in fixed format with a dictionary. So we click on that, and we get this little menu here. So the dictionary file name. So that's the DCT file name. So go to whatever directory you've saved it on your computer. We'll put that one in there. Next, we want to put the other kind of file, which is the text data set file name. So nothing's showing up for me right here. But that's because this is looking just for this raw, you know, raw file type. But this is not the file type we have for this assignment. So I'm going to choose to look at all files. Right there, we can see this is where the .dat file is. We're going to use that as our other one. And we're going to click OK. And here's Stata interpreting using the dictionary to interpret all these different variables in this data set. And we've successfully read it in. Now, if we don't want to go through that whole process again, and we want to save this as a .dta or a Stata data file, which is you know maybe easier to open for you, we could just close, uh, just say save as assignment two, call it Stata data. Now next time we can just go file open and choose that file. Here it might not work because I already have some data in uh, in memory. Oh, it worked. There we go. So here we go. Now we can open it whenever we want really easily. Hopefully that was helpful for the assignment. Good luck.